Hello everybody, it's Alex here from Hugo Boss again, live from the uh, Atlantic, not too far away from the Azores. What you can see there is our aft camera, and the boat really is not enjoying these conditions. Currently we're in a Force 9 with gusts of 55 knots, and it's been like that all morning. Since we last uh, spoke to you guys that night we tacked south and we spent the whole of that night catching up on sleep, sailing with uh, three reefs and the, and the uh, storm jib. We lost a fair few miles that night but we certainly felt uh, better for it in the morning. We then managed to push pretty hard over yesterday and then last night we went through a transition where a secondary low was forming basically over the top of us and uh, and now we're to the south of that secondary low hence why we're having 40 to 55 knots I don't know if you can see in the picture there there's on the left hand side there's a, of the, you can see the boom and the mainsail you can see a piece of mainsail there bobbling out below nearly dragging in the water that uh, often happens with these boats where the mainsail fills up with water and produces this great big bubble and really the only thing you can do is to stab it with a knife a couple of times to let the water out otherwise it can br break the lazy jacks and leave the rest of the thing in water to the spreader cam then so I don't know how well that's showing up in your picture about an hour ago we hit something and so you, you might be able to see the little orange flash middle to left of screen that's our windward rudder in the air this picture probably looks horrendous to you and it looks pretty bad to me without the transmission and that's because the mass is shaking and shaking and shaking you can see a clearer picture there of how much water is coming across the boat we're actually having breaking waves physically hitting the boat and pushing us over it sounds horrific and believe me it is the only thing we can do is head south basically on our on our route as quickly as possible the quicker we get south the quicker this wind's going to drop all, all on board is okay um, no real problems we did have a, a bit of an issue with our J3 unfurling in 50 knots of wind, but uh, Ross was very clear out about me. We managed to get it furled away with no damage. Uh, Ross is suffering a little bit. He's, he had banged his wrist on the first night, and uh, he's been a real trooper, managing to work through the pain and, and get on with stuff. Believe me, any, you can't do anything on this boat. You can't move around. You can't go to the toilet. You can't make a cup of tea. You know what, we have not had a cup of tea since we started this race and both Ross and I are avid tea drinkers. It is horrendous. But uh, we're still in the race, we've managed to move up the rankings okay. Survival's the key right now but uh, come this evening as the wind starts to drop and tomorrow we can start to put the hammer down and hopefully make some more miles up and get towards the front of the fleet. That's it for me now I'll leave you back to the action from the spreader cam fingers crossed we're still in one piece by the time I speak to you in two days